Hey, this is Squeaky Moore. I am your pitch guru. And I really wanted to come on really quickly and talk to you about pitching. Pitching practice, practicing for your pitch actually is really what I want to talk to you about. So this is the top of January and I am so prayerful and hopeful that you all are like getting set and ready to go to pitch a lot this year because that's what we should be doing. It all boils down to the fact that we have, we've created these projects and we should be pitching them. So uh, because I'm getting ready to pitch and of course there's so many things going on in January, you got uh it's pilot season. Of course, that should just stir up some things. You're seeing everyone who's been greenlit, right? But then you also have real screens and it's just so many things going on that you should be prepping to pitch, but you got the whole year ahead of you and a lot of pitch fests and competitions and festivals and all of these things. So you are, you definitely should be getting prepared to pitch. Now, when you're pitching All of you should practice your pitch. You must practice your pitch. And if you are pitching with a writing partner or producing partner or you're going to bring talent into the room, everybody that's going to be in that room should be practicing the pitch. Right. The reason it's important to practice is because you don't want to go in fumbling over your words and you don't want to go in and, 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 and now you're jumping on someone else's as they, or you're cutting your partner off as they talk or, you know, whatever you, cause you don't know who's going to say what, right? So you want to go in buttoned up, right? And then not only that, but, um, and this really just came from last night as I was practicing, um, a pitch, a forthcoming pitch with a, a partner of mine, um, it ignited me. I mean, we were so passionate and excited and so many different things came out of that practice. Things we just didn't think about. Things that, um, there were just so many great ideas and uh, further explanations that came out of that pitch practice. And so you want to be able to have the pitch dump or the brain dump a pitch brain dump so that you can, you know, you never know what's going to come up, things that you didn't think about and you want those to be there. Plus, and I guess the bottom line is that you're, you, 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 you end up being very passionate about it. And in that practice, you then can assign, you talk about that because I'm, I don't even know what to say on that end or because I'm super passionate about this particular thing. I want to be able to talk about that. And so you want to be able to talk about all of the, the, the different things that, um, you know, that comes out of nowhere that you didn't plan to think about. Right. You know, examples and such. Right. So here is my first tip that I want to give you. And that is that you and this is just assuming that you've sent something over before you've pitched nine times out of 10, you're going to send something to them to get into the room and you shouldn't be sending everything over. And I know I said that before, but you should be, or well, so typically you would have to send something, a log line or a quick synopsis, or maybe you sent a sizzle reel or a teaser or something. But you shouldn't be sending everything over. It should be just enough to entice them to get into the room. So now that you are in the room, the first thing that you want to ask them is if they've had an opportunity to go over what you sent. Many people assume that because they sent it and because they asked for it, that they, of course, went over it. But that is not necessarily so. Right. So you want to be able to ask them, have you were you able to look over? Did you get a chance to look over what I sent? Um, And if they say uh, no, then, of course, you know, you need to start at the beginning of your pitch. Right. But if they say, um, yeah, then you need to be able to figure out how can I take them deeper and further into the story? Yeah, it's really a good thing, but you got to figure out a clever way then to segue, right, to to transition into what am I going to talk about now that they've read everything? And the goal is to look at 
um, storylines that wasn't addressed or because I'm not or themes or you can talk about themes that you want to bring out. You could talk about any anything contingent upon what you already sent them. But the goal is to briefly hit those same topics that you've sent quickly as a like just a touch point like I'm gonna go there I'm gonna say this one thing but now I'm gonna take his storyline further or deeper you're really adding uh, to the narrative that you've already sent right and going deeper into that so uh, you need to figure out well then what's a really clever way then to now start talking about my characters and that's what you get out of the the pitch practice right to one the first thing you should be figuring out is um you know how am i going to start and i've already talked about you know you everyone should probably start their pitch most likely you should be starting your pitch with a statement of purpose right i've talked about it on all platforms social media it's on youtube it's in the pitch 101 group on facebook it's on linkedin I've talked about that. It's on the pitch101.com. Statement of purpose. Start your pitch with a statement of purpose. But after that, what am I going to say? Especially if I've already sent over a teaser, a log line, a synopsis. What am I going to say? And in your pitch practice, that's what you should be determining. What's a clever way that I can just not, and it doesn't have to be even clever. It just has to be a dope starting point. Um, um, You know, talking about, uh, this is the reason why we wrote this, you know, this, and then you lightly touch on, um, what you've already written. And then of course you're going to take them different, uh, deeper, but you should be gathering those that segue into the deeper conversation, right? That should be, what should we, what can we say to start? Where should we start? And how does that sound, um, and, and what does it sound like when I start? What is what am I saying? Then you should also be figuring out in your pitch practice what how am I going to segue from or transition from point to point? Let's say I'm talking about the characters. How am I going to transition from the characters to talking about the world to talking about some things? Or however you've draft or uh, structured your pitch, right? So you should certainly be thinking up the transitions and the segues. And then what I'd like to do is, or what I feel is most important is that after you've done this brain dump, now you are super excited with your partner and the talent. You all have come up with some amazing things. Now it's time to figure out who's going to say what. Squeaky's going to talk about this part. John is going to talk about this part. The talent will discuss this. And these are the things we're going to talk about if they ask. These are some examples that we can talk about. So after you figured out who's going to say what, you want to come up with a really quick agenda so that you could pitch, right? And they're just bullet points. It doesn't have to be pretty. uh, pretty. It's just so that you don't forget how you're going to segue into each additional part of your pitch. Right. So you want to write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, We're going to talk about uh, Sally. First bullet. Second bullet. We're going to talk about these three things. The next bullet. We're going to talk about the world and some of the themes. And then we're going to give an example here. And the example is the Johnny Case example or whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, you write down in a quick one pager so that you don't get stuck. Right. This is the reason you're practicing to figure all of this out. So I hope that helped. I hope that you have many pitches coming And I hope that if you don't walk away with anything, you should be walking away, practicing, practicing with your team. If they're going into the room with you and you should be trying to figure out how will you start your pitch? What's what are the segues? Uh, You know, what are some dope ways to start and what are the the transitions? How am I transitioning from one thing to the next? And lastly, to make sure you have, um, you know, some bullets written out so you know who's going to be saying what. 
and where and what example. So you don't forget anything. And that way you have totally taken control of what it is you want to say when you get the opportunity to say it. And you're not all over the place. So um, I really pray that this is the biggest pitch season of your lives. This is the biggest pitching year of your lives. I really do hope and pray that. And I um, hope you take these um, quick tips and apply them to your pitch. And I love you all. And I hope to talk to you all very, very soon.